Hello, Pythoneer. Here is a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Google Gemini API in Python for text-to-image generation using the advanced pay-as-you-go image in three model. Let's not waste any time and get straight into it. We start with the import of the modules we are going to use. First, we import GenAI from the Google library. To handle the output of the image, we import types from GenAI. To save and show the image, we import the image class from the Pillow library and the Bytes.io class from the I.O. module. Then we run up a terminal and install the Google and Pillow library using this pip command so we can use it. Then we initialize a client to interact with the API using the client class, where we pass our API key to. If you don't know where to get yours, head over to aistudio.google.com, create an account if you don't have yet, and create a new API key. And please, never share yours anywhere. Next, we create a prompt we can pass to the model. We want to create an image of a robot holding a red skateboard. Then we create a response where we use the client models generate images function. In here, we pass the model we want to use, for example, the Imagen 3.0. The Imagen 4 model is already in the pipeline and will be soon available in the API. I will keep you updated. Then we pass our prompt from above to the prompt parameter. And last, we set up the config where we define that we want the types generate images config where we can define the number of images we want to be generated. To access the generated images, we handle and break down the response. Therefore, we loop over the response generated images using the enumerate function to access the image and the index. Then we pass the generated image bytes to the bytes IO class two and use the image open function to read the image and store it in a variable. With the show function, we can see the images. If you want to save the image, simply use the save function and pass a path where you want to have it to. Since we have multiple images, we can save them using an f-string and passing the index in the image name. When we run this, it takes a short moment. Then, the images pop up on the screen. And I have to say, these look amazing and a way more advanced than the flash images, for example. Let us know in the comments what you think about the results. If you watched until here and you like it so far, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. Okay, before you go, since the images are in low resolution like 720p, we can simply upscale them using the resize function from Pillow as shown here. We create a new upscaled image variable where we assign the new image to. Inside, we use the Pillow's resize function on the generated image to scale it up. Therefore, we simply multiply the width and height with the upscale factor and resample the image using, for example, the Lansos resampler. This is a super simple upscale and could be a way more improved but for this simple workflow, it's worth it. Then we call the show function on this upscaled image so we can compare it. Run this and let's see the difference. Left is the original, right, the upscaled. When we zoom in, we see on the right one, we have smoother details and the image is now a 720p default image upscaled by four. When you want to save the image, just use the pillow's save function again and define a path and name as shown. Don't forget to pass the index again so all images are saved. Last, I comment out the first show function and we are done. This is all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please show some love and support me in any way. Here are two other videos I invite you to watch. Happy coding. I'll see you in the next one.